In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I'm going to teach you how to take an old, out-of-date entertainment center and turn it into this beautiful living room showpiece. We'll sand. We'll paint. And we'll add finishes. So you ready? Let's go. So my mom sends me over these pictures of this entertainment center. It's all oak, and I know oak was really big in like the late 80s, but now it's just kind of outdated. So my mom's friend Mary, her son and daughter-in-law own this entertainment center, and Mary suggested me because she's seen how I paint on YouTube. Here's a link if you want to check out those tutorials. Anyway, she said they probably would want to do it in white. But after talking to Mary's daughter-in-law, Andrea, I found out that she fell in love with this picture she found on Pinterest and really loved the finish and wanted to do that for the entertainment center. So I ended up going to Nana and Company, which is in Royal Oak. It's a cute little store that sells Annie Sloan paint, which would give it that really nice chalk paint finish. But then in the end, Andrea actually had me paint her buffet this color, and she chose a more neutral tone for the entertainment center, which I think was a great choice. I started by using the green frog tape for rough surfaces, and can I tell you, that tape is the bomb diggity bomb because I did not have one drop of paint on any of that rock. It's true, your paint will not bleed underneath there. And I'm not a paid spokesperson or anything like that. After I got done taping everything, it was time to sand. So you just want to make sure that you get all that gloss off because you want your paint to adhere well. So I'm just taking the sander and roughing up the whole entertainment center. Once I was done sanding, it was time for paint, and Andrea had picked out Coco by Annie Sloan, which is a really nice neutral color. Annie Sloan paint is very expensive. It's beautiful, but it's very expensive. So I will go to Home Depot and get that color matched in a paint and primer and do that as my first coat, and then the second coat will be in the actual Annie Sloan. So right now I'm on a scaffold and I'm just kind of painting the top in that paint and primer that I had matched at Home Depot. The primer will also help like the sanding does to make sure that the paint will adhere to the piece well. So you just want to kind of get that covered nice and evenly. So I'm just standing back right now and just kind of looking how I did at the top. I'm noticing that I missed a few spots so I'll have to get back on the scaffold and just kind of touch that all up. I can tell already that this is coming along really nice and it's going to look awesome. Much better than that oak. Now I'm just working my way down and I'm just doing the main part where the TV is going to go. The first coat is always the funnest because you get to really see like the whole piece being transformed. It's looking good there. Well, I think that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll start on Annie Sloan chalk paint.
So today is day two and we are working on the second coat using the Annie Sloan chalk paint. I think Home Depot did a very good job of color matching this because you can hardly see any color variation. You're probably wondering, well, why can't I just use the primer if the color's the same? Well, any Sloan chalk paint has a more flat kind of look and it just has a whole different kind of texture to it and works really well with the waxes. Something we're about to do in just a little bit here. I feel a little like Huckleberry Finn here. Normally I would use a sprayer, but they had all that rock and I just didn't want to take a chance. So I hand brushed everything, which in my opinion makes this piece even more special. Today we're going to use the Wise Owl Black Wax along with the Annie Sloan Clear Wax. So you're going to want to dip your brush into that black wax and then you're going to want to take the brush and go along your furniture piece so that wax is kind of streaky and spotty. Now you're going to want to apply some clear wax to a clean cloth and you're going to just wipe over the black streaks and the spots and just kind of really rub that in and it's going to give such a nice finish to your piece. That's okay if you have some of that black wax, like in the crevices, it just kind of accents the piece and gives it a little more dimension. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. You might need to add a little more clear wax to your cloth just so that it'll slide easily and blend that black wax nicely. I think this is looking so nice and that clear wax, once it dries, it's going to help protect your piece. I'm just going to continue to do the process inside where the TV goes. I'm going to apply the black wax and then add the clear wax over top and just really wipe that and blend that in well. You're probably wondering, well, what if I add too much black wax? Can I get that off? Yes, you can. By using that clear wax, the more you rub, the lighter it gets. So don't even worry. If you have a big black glob, it doesn't matter. You can rub it out. That's the nice thing about using these waxes. These are the upper cabinets and I'm just applying the black wax again. See how that looks streaky and spotty? Then you're going to just want to blend it in with a clean cloth and some of that clear wax and it'll blend really nice for you. 
Get a little more wax on the cloth if you think it's getting too dry. You got this, you know how to do this now, and I want you to go out there and do some of your own pieces in this type of finish. It looks gorgeous. The upper cabinets had this brown looking fabric, which just said, I'm with the oak. And so they got rid of that, and I suggested a couple little like linens that they could put in there, and I think that's what they're gonna do. But that turned out gorgeous. I was happy, they were happy, and I'm just glad I could do that for them. They even made me this sweet card, and each of the kids wrote something to me along with Andrea. I cannot believe what a sweet family this is, and I'm just so thankful I had the opportunity to go ahead and refinish this piece for them, and I hope they get a lot of good use out of it for years to come. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.